Welcome. Today is a recap on moving on number line. So previously we learned that an integer, an integer can be a position, a place on the number line. For example, here is my number line. I have integers which are either positive or negative values. And I could have a position right over here. And this x, that x is on the position or the place of 8. Another example is, let's say over here, this one is uh, a square. What is the value of that square? Where is the position of that square on the number line? It is, of course, negative 3. These numbers represent distances from 0. So here's 0, and it is 1, 2, 3. It is a distance of 3 to the left of 0. The x is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to the right of 0. Okay, so these are integers, either positions on the, num on the number line, or, as we learned today in class, they can also show movement. So how can they move on a number line? This movement, uh, more mathematically, we can say a change, or an increase, or a decrease. Okay, so for example, if I have a number, and let's say this number uh, right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, is negative 4. Right, I can go to my number sentence here. I'm at negative 4. Now, from negative 4, I'm going to have an increase of, let's just say, 7. Increase of 7. Well, where am I going to end up? If I take my negative 4 and I increase by 7. So negative 4, I go up, up, or increase. This also means to the right. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here I am. Where am I? I'm from 0, 1, 2, 3. I am at 3. So negative 4 increased by 7. I am now at 3. Another movement. Let's say, um, let's say here, change color. Here we go. Uh, let's say I am at 6. So in my number sentence, I start at 6. And I'm going to go down or I'm going to decrease or maybe we can even say I'm going to move to the left. I'm going to move to the left. Let's say 13. Where am I going to finish? All right, well, here I am at 6. And how many do I need to go? Well, let's do a shortcut. I don't want to have to count down 1, 2, 3, 4 every single time. I know that 6 to 0, that's a difference of 6. But how far do I have to go? I have to go a total of 16. I've, or sorry, 13. I've already gone 6. How many more do I need to go? Well, out of 16, uh, 13, take away 6. That means um, I need to go 7 more. So I'm going to go all the way down here and go 7 more. So I move to the left 6 plus 7. I've moved a total to the left of 13. Where am I going to end? Well, I know this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I finish off at negative 7. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say, let's change colors again, I'm going to, hmm, let's use a sharpie here. I'm going to start off over here at negative 9. So I'm at negative 9. And I'm going to have an increase. So I'm going to move to the right a total of 8. Where do I end up? Hmm, well, I know that from here all the way to 0, that's a change of 9. Well, do I want a whole change of 9? Nope, I don't only want to move 8, which is 1 less. So what's 1 less of 0? That is negative 1. I'm at negative 9. I move up 8. I'm going to end up at negative 1. And that's moving on a number line. Right? This is also adding, subtracting my integers. Right? So I hope that helps, and I'll catch you in the next one.